Hello, welcome to another edition of Spin Cooking. I'm your host, Johnny Carmelo. Tonight we're going to make some coconut milk because I know you've seen some posts that I've made about uh, drinking the coconut water. I like to put these in my smoothies in the morning. Um, before I go off for a little workout, maybe I'll, I'll uh, have the, the water one of these. Uh, it's really good for you. It, it, um, very good uh, for your electrolytes. But this is going to be pretty quick and simple. If you blink your eye, you're going to miss it. And what we're going to do is we're going to start out with, uh, I'm going to try to get this done in less than 10 minutes. I know you uh, y'all are busy out there. I'm busy. And that's the whole idea behind Spin Cooking. We want to just make this quick, fast, manageable, and good for you. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to start out with our coconut. And we got our coconut. We're going to need a mallet of some sort. Okay. And we got that working. And then what we got to do is, uh, excuse my back for a second. Basically, uh, the term coconut is a Portuguese Spanish word back from the 16th century. And what it means is head or skull. And actually, this is not even really a nut. It's more of a seed. But uh, that's another story. What I do is I just take this, and I know a little, you're off camera right there. You can't see this. But I set my coconut down into the drain, and it fits in there perfectly. And I give just a quick little, and this is just a regular old cross tip screwdriver, right in those holes, real quick, a couple of taps, and what I do is I do a little of this action, make the hole bigger, okay, then I'm going to come over here, real quick, okay, I'm going to get my glass, I got one right here, we'll just use this one. And a couple little bits and pieces get in there, but if you wait just a moment, it will um, it'll kind of settle and you can drink this. But for right now, just for all practical purposes, we're going to set that aside. And that's about four and a, that's about four ounces or so. Uh, hold this firmly in your hand. Um, I kind of give it a couple. You cannot believe what. Wow, that went. Look at that. Oh my! Look at that. Pretty much perfect. Boy, that's good work right here. I can't believe that. Well, I kind of do. What I also do here is I get a like a, a kitchen muffin and mitten, excuse me, and I put that in my hand. Now, what I've been using since I've been using this butter knife for a while, let me put my glasses on if you don't mind so I can see what I'm doing. Um, if you don't mind here, what you do is if you can see this, is I like to get the butter knife right in there between the the meat and the shell, and I work it around. I just put a little bit of that knife in there at a time, and then I get the other kitchen mitt, and I just kind of work this around here. This is a workout, okay? I just work it just a little bit, and I'm going to work it around just a little bit at a time. What you're going to do is you can just kind of work it a little bit. Easy into that. You can just see how you really got a wrench on this. It is a good little arm workout. And each time I go around, what I do is I get that butter knife in there a little bit more. I get in there a little bit more. And sometimes if it gets stuck, that's okay. Just bring it back. I'm gonna work it. Tell you what, when you when this thing goes. Tell you what, it's a nice. I've popped these out sometimes before in one shot. In one piece, excuse me, not one shot. There is no real good way to do this. That is not. You really gotta. Oh, look. How about that? You like that? I'm pretty happy with that. Now, this is a. Um, this is a pretty good potato peeler. We want to get this outside layer off. We're just going to peel it real quick with a potato peeler. We are so close already, it's not even funny. Whew. That actually got me out of breath a little bit. And I'm in pretty good shape, I think, for an old man. Okay, you see how quick that just gets peeled? Real nicely. That's pretty much it. I'm just going to give it a quick little wrench job. 
Nice thing about this is uh, I'm going to show you um, basically what a serving is. It's about three and a half ounces. Carbs are not bad at all. I'm going to put this in my, my device here. Break it up into a couple pieces, okay? I pretty much use almost a whole bottle of water. Bottled water over tap water just because you don't have the chlorine in there. Tell you what, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to, I want to fill that back up and I'll show you just how much we get out of there. Okay, and let me get the, uh, this guy here. We're going to be, you're going to see how quick this works. Now this doesn't take long in this device right here. I live by and I swear by this device. It's really good. It's good for, um, morning smoothies. It's good for your greens. Uh, I use my greens now in here too to have my salad. Put my tomato in this, my kale. It's great. And I, uh, most of the recipes you see online, what they want you to do is use a blender. Um, since I have this, I just use it because it's quick and it's fast. It doesn't take long at all. It only takes about a minute compared to using your blender, which may take up to five, six minutes to actually do this. And I think this thing is spinning at, I believe, 14 or 15,000 RPMs. It doesn't really take long. And that's about it for that, okay? Then I just have this container here. This is a, um, a clean dish towel. It's one of the thinner ones. It's not real thick. And then what I do is I got the dish towel. I put it here, and I don't see my rubber band that I had, but you know something? That's okay. Oh, look. I'm going to put that on too tight. As I can see, I'm going to let you see this pour out. And the fact that we don't have the rubber band on there, that's fine. Because I just actually just made a couple batch of these not long ago. And to speed this process up, you can just leave this in here and let it drain. Or you can do what I'm going to do right now because, hey, a rubber band decided to take a hike, but that's all right. You see that action right there? Look at that action. Most of the uh, places on, uh, if you go online looking for this, they're going to tell you to get a cheesecloth. But guess what? I don't got a cheesecloth. I got a dish towel and brute strength. And then what you can do also is you can you can twist this. And I get every little single drop out of that guy. Mm. Watch this. Watch this. Look at that right there. Now this coconut water here is good for um, quite a few things. One, I'll use this in my smoothies as my base instead of using uh, water, regular water or bottled water, whatever. That's a good little substitute if I don't have any of my almond milk around. Look at that. It filled it back up and I actually probably got an extra maybe two or so ounces that I extracted from the coconut itself. And here's my coconut. I want to just try this here for you. Let me get a taste of that. Mm. That is that is just raw. That's natural. Um, it's, it's, it's so good for you. The nice thing about the coconut meat is Three and a half ounces is really, um, I'll show you a portion of that here in a minute. And, well, we're, oh, I can see we're out of time. That's maybe another episode. I thank you for joining us tonight. This is uh, Spin Cooking. We made some homemade coconut milk, and I hope you try this at home.